Alright, what's up and welcome back to the Super Mario 64 commentary. So now we're going back to Dar Dar Docks after that major fell back at a, a Shifty Sandland. My god, what a train wreck. <laughs> what do you expect? Wait, why is there the why is the fish here? What the oh the shark? Or the oranges? No, the um the cheap cheap that eats you. Why was it there? So, no, that, that that fish don't eat you. Oh, you think, it looked like the yeah. same. You think about the one? You think about the one in the uh, tiny huge island? Yeah, but that fish looked exactly like it. It's just it's just smaller. <laughs> the one that fish. The one that the one that eats you is really is is a lot bigger than the uh, the fish you saw just now. Yeah, well, it just looked like the same. It looked like the same fish. So. Yeah. So anyway, get the star. You just gotta go through the blue rings five times where the uh. Jet stream is that. But you can just stand still and it still counts. Things, I thought this was a body, not a sonic. Now there's a slight delay there, but it still counted. <laughs> <laughs> the only problem is you can't get it you can't get the star unless you have the metal cap, but yeah, yeah. it makes it easier. Oh yeah, we need button mash like crazy. That makes sense. Oh yeah, NCS did he oh yeah, he did show it off back at uh Jolly Watcher uh Bay. Yeah, Mario prefers to do things easier. You playing Hyrule Warriors? Yeah, I'm playing this while I'm uh, <laughs> watching this. I'm near the end of the game, so I'm fairly you know why the hell not. Dude, I'm, I'm the game the... just came out like oh, yesterday. Freddy. I think, I believe it, this is the, the finale here. Well, Dude, the game starting. just came out! <laughs> hey, Yesterday! I'm, I'm on the third boss and I keep dying. Because... Because no our people got... For me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, now, just like the fourth star mission, follow the Manta Ray and go through the ring five times. But be careful getting that power star above the whirlpool. Uh, it's outside the castle for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually did enjoy the uh the six power star mission in Dire Dire Docks. Collect the caps. Meaning got a mix though. At one point, I was trying to bring up in an earlier part. Um, there's a lot of remixes by fans of this track. Yeah, there is. And a bunch two of them, of this. two of them that stand out to me in particular are um ones by uh. Uh, this YouTube user called CS Guitar 89 did a really good acoustic uh, remix, and then uh, this uh, YouTuber I just found like a month ago or so called Game and Sound, and he did a really good uh, cover of it. Awesome. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, her high rewards is. Oh, and never mind. No spoilers. Yeah, can't spoil anything about it. Alright, oh, he's gonna kick my ass. <laughs> well, I wouldn't uh, say that, but... I think you need, uh, Captain, I think you need Captain Falcon. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> yeah, because everyone's played like a, like a, tri like a trillion times. Jeez. Eh... Uh, I don't know, I've only beaten this- I haven't beaten this game 100%. I don't have the patience, to. I never- I never 100% Mario Sunshine. Oh, uh, dude, you do not- You don't want to. I haven't done it, but don't- Oh, don't boy. Do it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. But yeah, oh, you, you, know you, you know what you're- uh, Okay, like, you know how your reward in this is you get, like, that invincible third jump and, like, a hundred lives or something? Mm-hmm. We get 120 stars. Yeah. 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 Guess what you get in Sunshine? Uh, 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 um, uh the, the freaking right shirt. A, a, a beach. Postcard. A postcard. Oh, a postcard? Oh, I, th I, th I think you get the beach shirt. Yeah, that's if you beat it. Uh, oh, that's right, we, that's right. We, oh, we gotta go back to uh, the Snowman's Land for the uh, six star mission. I don't remember how you get the shirt. I think you just had to beat the game. You had to 100% it. No, I got. No, I, I haven't 100% it. I've gotten the shirt. You do get the shirt for 100% of the game, I looked it up, and watched NCS Let's Play of it. Are you talking about that, um, like, 
Hawaiian-ish shirt? Yeah, that one. Yeah, I have 100% of the game and I have it. <laughs> I have 101, like 101 uh, shine sprites and I have the shirt. Oh. I thought you had 100% in it. No, 100% gets you a postcard. Wow. <laughs> that's... That's... that's silly. It. <laughs> think, of it like, think of it like this. It's like getting one of Neptunia's gallery picks, only it's even more of a pain in the ass. Or when you 100% Crash Bandicoot 1, you get a you get a crappy alternate ending where you skip the final boss. It just does not seem worth it. And I'll take to uh, <laughs> Yeah, at, at the, the alternate ending of Crash 1, you just skip the final boss. Oh, that's right. I remember that now. Yeah, which is stupid. Yeah, that is honestly. Oh, I thought you said Banjo. I mean, not crack Bandicoot. <laughs> yeah. Bandicoot, uh... Actually, Bandicoot does have two endings, if you, if you didn't get all the puzzles. Mom, he's just not gonna show you the secrets on Bandicoot 2, which was scrapped... ...at... after the game was made. Alright, now this is... Alright, now, now this is a trick to get in this first Power Star in Wet Dry World. Oh, you think about what I think you're gonna do, then, uh, good man. <laughs> yeah. As I keep saying, screw the rules. I agree. Alright, this took me- agree. Now, this took me a few tries. Banjo-Kazooie, bad ending. Quit the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Banjo, your sister would like to have a word with you. Now. Oh, shit. I, I think Grunty, that su Grunty suddenly has a figure. Yup. Oh gosh. <laughs> she should have been a she should have been a good a good person when she became a a human became a human form. But no. <laughs> oh man, this is how she talks too. E for everyone, huh? Actually, uh, getting actually um, uh, becoming hot just made her even more of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. I I think I get this on my my final attempt. Do we get it? Yep, we got and then, it. And then Mumbo, that traitorous asshole. Yeah, he gives her a rose. That makes it so much easier, dude. If you know, if you can do that, if you can time that spot right. Yeah. No, I never knew you time. could do that. I, mean, I just tried it out for fun one day, and I just saw like eh, it actually works. So I was like, okay, what the hell? Top of the town. Yeah, it's actually recommended to uh, the flood the whole entire level, make things a little easier, especially when it comes to speed running. Yeah, I've been watching so many of them awesome speed demos. It's, it's gotten to me. Hey, stop! Run to the sign, Mario. And you can talk I about. Don't want, I don't want to watch any speed anything on uh, like SDA just because uh, uh, someone wouldn't stop talking about it, and then they get, it annoyed me. So I'm like. Nope, not watching it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as you can tell, I, I, I try to make him long jump, but he keep ground pounding. Um, that, that's an annoyance too. You, you want to do something, but he'll do the op completely opposite instead. I know. Oh, got burned for no reason. <laughs> and we got our second star, Wet Dry World. And next week, Smash Hype! Yup. Right. Uh, well, Smash Hype for me on in December, supposedly. We don't know when that thing's getting released, cause they. Won't That's why I anything. said supposedly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The reason why I took the oh yeah, the re reason why I jumped in the bottom the pitcher, it will lower the uh, water at the. It, it it pretty much drained the water in this world, and I need that to get the first two secrets down here. Starting with this block right there, by just pushing the block in the in the in the hole, and there's a random secret, and third is on the it's in the yellow block. Oh my goodness! Wait till you see the ones in the Kaizo, Kaizo 64. Oh, that exists too. Yeah, but one problem: they don't show you no indication where the secrets are. Oh yeah, you just have to listen. Now, actually. Which is more brutal, Kaizo 64 or Kaizo Mario World? Kaizo 64. Yeah, I think Kaizo 64 is a bigger pain than uh, Kaizo itself. Oh my god, the only thing I love. Uh, uh, 
The only thing I love about the only thing I love about the about the castle 64 of the stage is that you you, you get to flood the whole entire level just to get this one star. You have to? Yeah, you do. Peach, you freaking whore. <laughs> Sorry, playing melee. Oh wow, everyone's playing games today. <laughs> Yeah, I'm playing, uh... I got, I got, uh, I got a Hyrule Warrior that's like going on over here, man. <laughs> now, I tried a long jump, but I said, fuck, I'm doing it the legit way. Uh, thanks for that view there, uh... Serious opponent I'm fighting, that will not reveal. <laughs> you better not freaking reveal. <laughs> no, but, uh, when Celtic sees the, uh, attack this here, I think he's gonna enjoy it. Oh my goodness. Shit. All right, so that's flood. Yeah, flood wars. I can just get the start yeah, easy way. And here we go. All right, now the uh, was a building. <laughs> now the uh, four star mission. Again, we want to. Again, we want to drain the water because we we got we gotta get that star in the elevator. So the first thing we gotta do, we gotta we gotta punch that orange block. Cause yeah, if you try do if you try getting a star while the while the level is flooded, it's impossible. Cause you basically gotta go on the lift and jump down, then walk it before the elevator go goes back to the top. Self-explanatory. And there's no metal cap to help you now. <laughs> no. Yeah, as you can tell, when when the when the toy car goes to the upper level, you're not gonna take any damage. Uh, the, those are Evos. E as hell. It doesn't matter oh what they're God. called. Shoot, eh, shut up. D they're even more annoying. Call 64. Yes, they are. I seen the whole. Dick, oh, oh, your, oh, I your dicks though, just because if you if you um miss uh judge where they're at, then you're gonna take damage. <laughs> Oh yeah! Don't stop chasing you. Random question. Uh, random question. Do you guys remember that Got Milk commercial? Which one? Uh, for for this one? For this yeah. one? Yeah. Yup. Oh, Which I remember one? that. I remember that. Sounds <laughs> familiar. It's it's when Mario jumped. It's when those two, two kids was there was playing Mario 64. They had a hard time jumping on the platform. They rage quit. Mario jumped out the TV, took the milk out of the refrigerator, drunk it. And he became Giant Mario, and jumped back into television. I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. I, I, I think I do remember that somewhat. Yeah, I told you in the- I told you- I told you in your Let's Play it is. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Okay. Yeah, you did, you did. Yeah. It took me a minute to remember now, but like, yeah, yeah, now you told me. Now, the thing is, I remember seeing that commercial when I was like, four and five, and that was like, back in, like, the late 90s. <laughs> And so once like, again, I say that? screw the rules, cause we ain't talk to the paper bomb. Flood yeah, can help. High enough, you can uh, go in there. I didn't know about that either when I played it the first time. <laughs> I always did cannon. <laughs> I, well, I remember when I first played, I could not find the red coins anywhere in this level. But when I look at this area, it looks suspicious. So I took the cannon. It came into this this section right here, and voila, there's the rare coins. That makes sense. And I did have a little hard time getting the red coins of this world because of the yeah. wall kicking physics. The high places turn it can be a little tricky. Yeah. See. Oh man, I would say that with this random like thing right there. What thing? Um, the thing that looks like a Hagrid's hut ripoff, even though this came this came, this came up before Harry Potter. <laughs> I don't know. But inter but interesting <laughs> fun fact: when you look at one of those town doors, those are the same textures from um, Ocarina Tom. You know the textures. What? The textures from the the door textures off of Ocarina Tom. It appears in this section. Well, I, well, actually, um, this game came out first, so. Yeah, I meant, I meant, I meant to say, uh... That this, then that game would have borrowed the door texture from this. Yeah, that's what I meant. Because keep in mind, I, uh... 
Yeah, I did play Mario 64 before Ocarina of Time. I didn't play Ocarina of Time until 2011. What, really? Yeah. <laughs> Turns I played, out you're... <laughs> I played it a long time ago, but I didn't really get far in the game, and I started playing it again, and I got to, uh... Uh... I forgot the name of that. It was the third dungeon for the last, uh, crystal. Um, oh, what's the third dungeon? Oh I was gonna say Lord Jabba Jabba or something? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah Lord, Lord Jabba Jabba. <laughs> okay, that, okay, that was right then. Yeah, That's I my was... favorite stage in the game. Yeah, it, it can be it's tricky. So, it's so different, because, you know, you don't have any other dungeons that have that look. I know, right? So it, uh, 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 to me, I, uh, I just like the music at that place. Come oh, on, get up there, Mario. Like Jabba Jabba's belly. <laughs> Well, I, I know that, but, but still, it, it was still nice. It was kind of, you know, it was, uh, it was pretty ambient. So. Yeah. So I guess, like, Hyrule was the biggest pain out of everyone's, everyone's life in uh, Ocarina of Time. Don't know why I'm taking a long way. <laughs> hey, Water Riser? <laughs> I said it was late hi uh, the late t late bit, or uh, the late tip on uh, Ocarina of Time of being very... You mean you mean you mean the water temple? Well, that's it, water temple. Lake Lake Bed Temple. That's in Twilight Princess. Uh, Surprisingly, the no. Temple, the dungeon uh... that gave me the most trouble back in the day was the Shadow Temple. Oh god! Fuck it. Oh my god! Fucking that Bongo temple. Bongo! Bongo that Bongo! That gave me the most trouble when I was younger as well. Don't I only had trouble with Bongo Bongo? Cause that boss well, would go fuck himself. I couldn't find the one chest with the key I needed, and I could never find it. <laughs> And, oh. and, and, and child yeah. me never thought to use the lens of truth in that dungeon. Oh, inter interesting fun fact. I see someone went through the went through the shelter without the lens of truth. That's possible. It is. Well, I've seen it done. Yeah, it is. I would guess if you're a speedrunner, guess if you're a speed it would make it easier since you know the path so well. <laughs> well, it just comes from the fact that you play the game so many times that you just know where everything is. Yeah. Based on memory alone, really. Yeah, so I guess that makes sense. All right, so now we got. I'm come not back gonna to... sit here and say that Ocarina Times like, oh my god, this is amazing, but it's an okay game still. Uh, every game has its flaws. Yeah. The only, the only, so, the only so the game I like was Majora's Mask. That's my favorite one. <laughs> I, I would say Wind Waker, but it's because of Tingle that I I would rate that game just a bit lower. The Tingle section where you have to pay the bastard, you know, like over three thousand. Um, uh, they they fixed they fixed it in the Wii U version. Yeah, that's what I heard. They did. Well, that's good to know. I was gonna guess because it was because of that uh, one water temple that was the pain for everybody. <laughs> No, there was no water temple in the in uh when Waker. Or, or that factory that factory light temple, so I don't know what it is. <laughs> I, what, I never what, played Majora's Zel Mask. What Zelda game are you thinking about? <laughs> uh, I was talking about Majora's Mask. The one with the uh, 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 <laughs> Oh with the Zora link. Yeah. Oh the, uh that's, the that's, that's oh, the great, great Bay. Great Bay Temple, that's it. Now that dungeon's actually not that hard, actually. <laughs> It's just long. All right, I try to I try to oh, jump on top of that blue block, but I had to wait for the fan the fans kept the rear off. And that's yeah, how we... mem simple memorization will get you through uh, Great Bay. And it's here we power levels over ninety. All right, and this part of the end, so we over see you guys. How's it you say? All right, see you guys in the next part later. Yes.